Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a new battle beers between Grimm's Cloud Busting, 8% double IPA brewed with Waiiti and Southern Cross hops. This is actually the second batch but with different hops. And this is Treehouse's Alter Ego, basically Julius Base Beer, dry hopped with Mosaic and Amarillo. I have to give a huge shout out to Jared, who actually wanted to see Alter Ego up against Cloud Busting, so he offered me this can. Uh, thank you so much. That's really awesome. I can't wait to try these two next, uh, side by side. Uh, first time trying this new batch of Cloud Busting. And also another huge shout out to the Grimms, who reposted my previous battle beers. Uh, thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome to meet, and you guys are awesome brewers. So let's dig in. Actually, let's uh, keep chatting about the beers while these are already too mixed up, but I'll mix them up even more. So in the last battle beers, I'll post a link to that. I had uh, Julius up against Tesseract. If you want to watch, you can see what the result was. But again, really cool to try again to see how world-class, you know, two world-class breweries uh, stack up in hoppy beers. So, um, yep, they don't know which one's which. Let's take this one. Oh, wow. This one already smells like the cloud busting. It's sort of this... Uh, unfamiliar kind of hop quality. It's very different. It's very light. Yeah, there you go. Instead of this kind of intense juiciness, like passion fruit, mango, pineapple thing, it has this really, um, it's like pear. There you go. It's um, pear, gummy bears, tons of like light kind of dried fruit candy thing. There you go. Like lemon drop and a citrus peel, lemon zest, uh, uh, t a clementine, uh, clementine peel like a uh, orange zest as well it's very bright it's vibrant it's a little star fruit kind of thing um, white grape wow yeah just candied grapes <laughs> awesome stuff let's dig into this one. Oh wow well that's not even close um that definitely smells like alter ego you definitely get the julius base beer under there it is orange concentrate um huge sweetness up front it's blood orange it's that kind of um frozen block of concentrated orange juice orange concentrate that you could buy that you could you know reconstitute into orange drink or orange juice or whatever huge kind of uh sweetness of orange like that an orange popsicle but also some like pineapple like sweet mango thing it smells awesome yeah uh let's think of this one yeah Mm. Wow. Um, what is that? It's candy. <laughs> it's a lot of candy. It's like gobstoppers. Yeah, biting into gobstoppers. Um, follows with that kind of pear note that I was getting on the nose. Like pear gummy bears, gummy bears going on. But you certainly get the white wine character, yeah. You even get that kind of like back end quality of champagne and white wine, that little kind of like a drying... Um, it's almost like uh, um, a vinous kind of quality. There you go, vinous. Um, really awesome, wow. I saw a descriptor that uh, something like white sangria, and I can certainly see that because it has that kind of dump of all these awesome uh, fruits, pears, apples into a kind of white wine surrounding base, a little vinous quality on the background. It actually lingers uh, very much. Yeah, very good show off of kind of Southern Hemisphere hops and their ability to show off white grape. Yeah. And actually, uh, this might be cheating, but uh, on the website, Grimm, they have grape, pear, cantaloupe. I would call it maybe like cantaloupe, maybe more towards honeydew for me. And they also have clementine as notes of uh, what I think is their cloud busting. But definitely the pear, definitely the white grape kind of thing. So yeah, I'm going to predict that this one's this one. So let's check into this one. That's alter ego, but um, even for 6.8, uh, that mouthfeel is insane. Just a doughy, doughy mouthfeel for days. Follows on the aroma. Not as juicy as Julius. Um, you certainly get that kind of, again, that kind of intense orangey character, but you also get the dankness and her herbaceous quality of mosaic and amarillo on the back end. Tons of grassiness, herbal quality, lingers on the tongue. But then you also get this kind of sweet doughiness. It's just an awesome uh, malt quality on this one. Follows through with those kind of uh, citrus qualities, citrus pith, yellow grapefruit. And also this kind of like sweet mango papaya kind of thing. Yeah, papaya. There you go. Uh, awesome stuff. So pretty close. I mean, I'm pretty sure I got them uh, picked correctly. I'm just trying to figure out which one I prefer. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna say I prefer the alter ego. Uh, I prefer the alter ego and this is how I predict them. So let's find out if I was right. This one is the cloud busting and this one is the alter ego. So I was able to pick them out correctly. They're pretty easy in my mind. Um, you know, the hop quality in this one is just so unique with that Southern Hemisphere quality and then alter ego just tastes like Julius but a little bit different. Um, really cool stuff. As for the cloud busting, yeah, let's discuss cloud busting more. They definitely hit the malt bill pretty well. Follows through on how Tesseract was doing, just really awesome mouthfeel. Um, not without being chewy, without being overly sweet, just glides away very nicely. Awesome delivery of hops on this one, you know, with the malt uh, hiding away in the background, a tinge of sweetness. But I love the, you know, the, the how different these hops are. They're offering these kind of interesting notes of, yeah, very different from more traditional double IPAs. Yeah, I was saying like, tons of like candy notes going on. You know, just sweet tropical candies. Yeah, I'm thinking Gobstoppers right now, maybe like uh, Nerds or something like that. And then also that kind of white wine, sangria, Vinus note, awesome stuff. Um, as for rating, hmm. let's go with a 98 plus. Let's go with a 98 plus, a 99 minus. I really like this one. I can't think of many double IPAs I would like that much more. <laughs> and I also give a lot of credit to use of Southern Hemisphere hops again because it makes the beer a little bit different. Um, 100 minus out of 100. 100 minus out of 100. Just, you know, inching that 100 list uh, a little bit. But still awesome, awesome stuff. Right now, sitting down here right now, I'm going to say I pr uh, slightly prefer the Treehouse Alter Ego, but I think the cloud busting's right there. I mean, it's still got 100 minus out of 100. I mean, that's how good the beer is. Um, again, I give the beer a lot of credit for just, you know, being a little bit intriguing and different for me. So um, awesome stuff. Great to see uh, Treehouse and Grimm neck and neck. You know, last time it was Treehouse. I mean, Tesseract by a little bit. This one's it's Alter Ego a little bit. We'll see what happens next time. Cloud busting is still amazing, amazing stuff. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Grim, for amazing beer. Thank you, Jared, for the alter ego. Uh, this was super fun. Later, guys. Cheers.